August 20th, 2003, Jesus. Today I speak to you about unity. There is great disunity in the world. This disunity has permeated most modern life, but I speak in a particular way of disunity within the family. I intend to return a sense of unity to every family that will allow me to do so. My children, when there is family unity, the members experience a steady flow of love. My peace, always available, draws the family through the inevitable times of difficulty, and members of such families possess a calm and steady bearing. Prayer will bring unity to a family in a swift manner. If a family makes a decision to make family prayer a priority, I can bestow many graces to that home. Families devoted to our mother already understand this connection between prayer and family unity. I want this for all families. Make a firm decision on when your family will pray together. If something interferes with this time, do not take that as a sign that your prayer commitment was a mistake. Simply reschedule to a more suitable time. I, your Jesus, am watching. I understand all. If you tell me that your family never has enough time to gather to pray, I will help you to find that time. It is possible you are all too busy and should eliminate certain activities. My children of this busy world must understand the very significant difference between entertainment and duty. An obligation to meet with friends is not as important as an obligation to family prayer, and it is possible that your priorities require examination. Do not fear this examination, because I will help you. Together we will examine your life and see where we can schedule time for you to draw your family together in prayer. Believe me when I tell you that you will be abundantly blessed in this decision. I will put unity in your family. Unity is also important for the purpose of identity. Children, in particular, must understand that they are expected to view life and respond to life differently because they are Christians. This begins in your home. My youngest children of this world do not understand their inheritance. With many of my adult children it is more serious. They have rejected their inheritance. So our goal is twofold. We must educate our youth and call out in love to our adults. Look at your brothers and sisters in the world. Many are experiencing disunity in their families and walk in bitterness. They do not appeal to me for help. They simply accept that this is how people behave. I assure you, my children, Christians do not behave this way. I intend to bring families together. From this secure love source, children will learn responsibility to others and to God. I intend for this to be the norm again. Will you help me? Let us agree today that each family will respond to this message by praying together. Start small if you must, with one hour father. Then advance gradually. I would like families to pray the Holy Rosary. Let that be your goal. 
devotion to my mother will advance a family to me very quickly. Devotion to my mother will heal many deep wounds. My mother is united with me in this work and brings many, many souls back to me. Pray now as a family and rejoice as I restore unity to your home.